it's no time. First of all, we need to know that snow is water. Wow! Snow is formed when temperatures are lower than 0 degrees Celsius and when the air is moist. When moisture freezes in the air, the water turns into tiny ice crystals. These tiny ice crystals collide to make a snowflake. If enough ice crystals collide together, they'll be heavy enough to fall to the ground in the form of snowflakes. Snowflakes have six sides. This is because this arrangement allows water molecules to form in the most efficient way. The size of a snowflake depends on how many ice crystals stick together, and this is determined by temperature. If snowflakes fall through cold, dry air, it will be small and powdery. What about sleet? Okay. Sleet, aka ice pellets, are normally smaller than hail. When snowflakes start to melt as they fall from the clouds, and through sub-freezing temperatures, they refreeze into grain-like particles. Oh, cool! What about hail? Hail is round-shaped pieces of ice. They start off with small ice crystals that are cold in the updraft of the air inside of the cloud. As they ascend, they grow by gathering water on the surface. We know that water expands when it freezes, right? Usually when something becomes cooler, it contracts, but water is very special. Water instead expands when it cools. This is because of the strange shape of the water molecules. As you know, the arrangement of water molecules looks like a Mickey Mouse head. The oxygen is slightly negative and the hydrogen is slightly positive. So water molecules tend to stick together forming a hydrogen bond. Because of this shape, the molecules tend to have very open structure with big holes, which means that there's a lot of extra empty space. When water freezes, it releases energy. Because lots of extra strong bonds can be created, but it does not take up more space, and so ice expands when it freezes. 